Hey everyone, this is going to be part one of three parts that make up a year of the mini lathe in review. Part two will be my top five favorite projects. Part three will be a live stream Q&A to answer the most common question, is this lathe worth it? And in this part, I'm going to go through what I think the top five upgrades I made to this mini lathe are in no particular order. The first upgrade on the list was also one of my first projects, the knurled handles for the compound and cross slides. I knew pretty early I wasn't going to like the handles that came with it, and these handles needed quite a variety of different operations that they gave me good experience, yet were simple enough to complete as an early project. They also made this list because I use them every time I use this lathe, and they've worked really nicely. Next up is the carriage lock. This was a pretty simple project that I made more complicated than it needed to be, but works really well. I found that I was struggling to get smooth facing cuts because the carriage was moving back and forth. Lack of rigidity aside, this took a lot of unwanted movement away, and after installing this lock, my facing cuts have become consistently very smooth. The circuit breaker was another pretty simple, yet high impact upgrade. Since I keep trying to turn things that are really too big for this little lathe, this circuit breaker has saved quite a bit of frustration from having to change fuses all the time. While it may be slower to trip than fuses, and therefore offer debatable protection, so far I haven't had any problems with it, and with the delay it takes to reset, it forces me to give the lathe a small cooldown period between trips. This next one was the very first thing I did to this lathe and blurs the line between an upgrade and a repair. The original method for mounting the motor was terrible for several reasons, and the loose motor made this lathe unusable until it was fixed. I went all the way to the other side of the spectrum and put together a motor mount that has truly been a set it and forget it mount. I've only had to make an adjustment to this once since I installed it, and that was only because I had to make other changes to fit a different length belt. Literally, nothing else I've done with this lathe would have been possible without this motor mount upgrade. And finally, last but not least, the simple chip tray was quick and easy to bend out of a scrap piece of sheet metal, but has kept significant amounts of chips off the ways, out of the feed screw, and out of the carriage gears. If you haven't seen it, I also put together a PDF template downloadable for free to make it easy for anyone else to make one of these too. And as a bonus upgrade, adding this quick change tool post, despite its cheapness, I'm sure has saved a bunch of time throughout the projects. That's it for this part of the year in review. Links for all the videos, the quick change tool post, and the chip tray template are in the description. Thanks for watching, comment with your thoughts on my 5 picks, hit that thumbs up, and subscribe if you aren't already for another fun year.